All, right, all new tonight at five, a warning for parents about the food and formula you give your children. Yeah, a new study found many baby food products test positive for arsenic. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz here with a more in-depth look at this. That's right, guys, and we're not just talking about arsenic. We're also talking about cadmium, lead, and acrylamide. All of these found in several of the products that were tested, and all of these can be hazardous to a developing baby. Walk into any grocery store and you'll find plenty of food options for babies and kids. But it turns out something could be lurking inside, not listed on the labels. A new study by the Clean Label Project looked at 530 baby food products, screening them for more than 130 toxins. Among the findings, 65% tested positive for arsenic, 80% when it came to baby formula specifically and 36% tested positive for lead. Lead can have an impact on the developing brain, um, can have consequences later in life when it comes to issues around attention and behavior. It's now the first study to have similar findings. Earlier this year, the Environmental Defense Fund released a report saying it found detectable amounts of lead in some baby food. And in 2012, Consumer Reports tested several rice products, including infant rice cereal. They found troubling levels of inorganic arsenic the most toxic form. Inorganic arsenic is a known human carcinogen that has been linked to skin, lung, and bladder cancer. Now, this new study finds that some of the mainstream brands, including Gerber, Infamil, Plum Organics, and Sprout, among the worst offenders here. Now, parents, it's important to note you can't eliminate arsenic. It's in the water, it's in the air, it's in the soil, and some crops absorb it as they grow. But there are things you can do. A few things to point out to you. Consumer Reports, they recommend no more than a fourth a cup of rice cereal per day for babies. And also, uh, the FDA recommends using other fortified cereal. Try things like oat, barley, multi-grain and when in doubt always talk to your pediatrician with about any concerns that you may have for a link to the study and also a shopping list to help you navigate the best and the worst on this list you can head to our website we have it all there for you at wcnc.com